are going to discuss a very interesting optimization calculus question relating trigonometric functions. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we have a real life situation. We go for a holiday boating. We really want to enjoy, right? You take a boat and then you have to go to the other side. You would like to utilize maximum time just rowing while going to the other side or walking along the beach. Exactly on the same thing, we have a mathematical question which is based on optimization. Very interesting topic in calculus. And it has also been, this question has also been shared by one of my students. So it's really a difficult problem. Here we are going to relate many parameters. Let us see how it unfolds. The question here is, Anil is enjoying a holiday at Circular Lake. He can row a boat at 2 km per hour and walk at 5 km per hour. What is the longest possible time he could take to get diagonally across? To represent the situation, I made a diagram on the right. So that is the circular lake, right? And let's say Anil is in position A and wants to go across B, right? We have given the rowing and the running either walking speed of Anil. So one way, of course, that he can go straight, right? Or he could just walk along the lake. And third, he could actually go to some point, let's say C, and then walk along the beach. Do you see that? So that could be the third option. You can definitely find the times A to B and A to C, and also from A, C, B, right? Now the thing is, how do we figure out which path to follow so that he gets maximum time enjoying in both rowing and walking, right, in this particular time before he reaches point B? That's the whole idea. Okay, so I think you got the question. Feel free to pause the video and answer it. Perfect. So let's uh, write down the information given to us and what is required and see how can we relate all these things, right? So, we can say that the velocity for boating, I will say, because R I will use for running. I could use walking W also. Okay. So, let's say velocity to row the boat is given to us as 2 kilometers per hour. And velocity for walking is given to us as 5 kilometers per hour. Right. And we need to, we are also given the radius of this circular lake, which is 2 kilometers. So this distance is 2, the other one is also 2. Correct? Let's say O is the center. Perfect. So the radius is 2 kilometers. We are interested in time. Perfect. So two constraints are that he could go direct from A to B, boating or rowing, correct? So that will be one time and the other will be he could go along this circular path, semicircle, right? So I can say path one is rowing, right? A to B is distance of uh, row from A to B, right? And path 2 could be walking, semicircle. So that is an R A C B, right? We should normally write A B with an R, right? But it goes by C, right? Okay. That's fine. And third is that as shown here, you could take A, C, B, right? So, part 3 is to row 
from A to C, right? And then walk from C to B. So these are the three situations you can always find the time for the first two, not difficult at all. We'll do that at the end, but first we need to figure out how do we get this path AC and CB combination, correct? That is what we need to figure out and that's the challenge. Okay, so I hope you understand and appreciate this particular question as much as I do and as much as my student who shared this question with me did. So what we can do is kind of do some construction here, join the center with C. Now, if you remember trigonometric formula, we could do, uh, we could use that concept. Let us say this angle here is theta. Well, in that case, the angle in the center will be what? The angle in the center will be 2 theta. This is very important concept. This is one thing. So first concept which you need to understand is that angle at center is twice the angle on arc or circumference. This is one concept. The second one is how do we find arc length CB, right? So that is the formula. So arc length, let's say if we have any angle given to us, you need to find the arc length. So it's important to review these things, right? Before just getting into the solution. Let's say this angle is, uh, let's say alpha and arc length is A, radius is R, then the arc length A equals to R theta, so R times angle alpha, you see that. So that is the arc length and all measurements are in radius, right. So note, radius is the default unit, even in calculus, radius is the default unit. I see many books giving this angle, theta, in degrees, right, in spite of the fact this is a calculus question. Perfect. So, I think all the concepts required are right there on this particular screen. And so, you are definitely in a position to find the solution. So, let me give you this opportunity, right. Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always email me on this particular address. Most of my students are doing extremely well. Some are right there on the top getting awards and scholarships. Perfect. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandilani. <laughs> Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious. Shulek Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. Let us now get all the relations. Here is our diagram. Let's fill in the information which we figured out. So Anil is on one end and he needs to go to B via C. Right? The center is given to us which is with radius of 2. So AO and OB is 2 kilometers. If I join O to C, then we get an angle right there at the center, which is going to be twice the angle at the corner, right, on the circumference. So that is the relation. We also know that OC should also be 2. Perfect. Now, this is an isosceles triangle, correct? This is an isosceles triangle. So those two angles are theta and theta. So the angle in the center will be 180 minus 2 theta. Even otherwise, you know, 2 theta is the other side, so this angle here. So we know that the angle A 
4C is actually equals to 180. We are doing in radians, remember that. So it has to be pi minus 2 theta. Perfect. So the idea is to find AC. So to find AC, we can use sine law, right? So we can write that AC over sine of the angle opposite, which is pi minus 2 theta, is equal to CO over the angle opposite is theta, sine theta, correct? So, AC is clearly equal to CO is 2, right? So, let me write 2 over sine theta. So, AC will be 2 over sine theta times sine pi minus 2 theta. So, what is sine pi minus 2 theta? Sine pi minus 2 theta is sine 2 theta, correct? So, we get the value of AC as equal to 2 sine 2 theta over, we have sine theta in the denominator. Do you remember the trigonometric relations, double angle formula? Apply that. Okay, so it will be 2 times sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta, right? So it is 2 sine theta cos theta. And we are dividing by sine theta. So we can simplify it by cancelling sine theta, which is common in both numerator and denominator. So we get the expression for AC as equals to 4 times cos theta, right? Correct. So that is how we get AC. We know how to find CB. Can you tell me? CB is arc length, r theta, radius being 2. So, it is OC, which is r times the angle between, which is 2 theta. And this is 2 times 2 theta, or it is equal to 4 theta. So, we know both the lengths now, right? So, AC from sine law we just derived is basically equal to 4 cos theta and CB is basically CB, C to B, arc length. Correct. So now, once we know that, the time taken is what? Time taken will be distance divided by speed. We know that the rowing speed is so, distance AC, which is rowing, velocity of rowing, plus CB, the arc, with the walking speed, and that is, let's plug in, AC is 4 cos theta, divided by rowing speed is given to us as 2 kilometers per hour, plus walking speed of 5, right? is 4 theta over 5. So, we now get an expression for time. Now, it's very simple, right? You can find the derivative of this and maximize the time. Correct. So, time is 4 cos theta over 2 plus 4 theta over 5. Let's go. So, T time is 4 cos theta over 2 and that is 4 theta over 5. So, let's differentiate time with respect to theta, the angle. Since we are really interested in finding which angle, which path to take, correct, from A to C and then to B. So, so that is like 4 by 2 is 2, right? So, okay. Cos theta derivative is minus sine theta, right? So, we get, let me simplify it here itself. Be easier, right? 
actually 2, correct? Okay. So, we get 2 and derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta. And here, derivative of theta is 1, so we get 4 over 5. So, that is the expression. So, we will equate it to 0 to find the critical numbers, right? So, that means minus 2 sin theta is or plus 4 by 5, I will write equals to 0, correct. Now, we will solve for time. Is that clear to you? So, we can write down 2 sin theta is equal to 4 over 5 or sin theta is equal to 4 over 5 times 2 or which is 4 over 10. So, theta will be sin inverse of 4 over 10 which is 0 0.4, correct? So, let us take calculator, put it in radians first and then uh, find the angle. Sin inverse 0.4 is equal to 0 0.41. So, it's 4115 you can write. Okay. So, that is what we get as the angle theta. Now, we need to find what will be the time taken when that is the angle, correct? So, time t is given to you. So, we can now calculate so, this is the time formula, correct? With angle of 0 0.4115. So, time will be time for the angle of 0 0.4115 is what? Let's calculate. So, that is 2 times cos of 0 0.4115 plus 4 times 0 0.4115 over 5. Okay, let us calculate this. So, cos of the given angle times 2. To this, we are going to add 4 times 0.4115 divide by 5. So, that gives us 2.16 hours. So, now we have found the critical time which is 2.16 hours when the angle here is 0 0.4115. Let us now check whether this is the maximum time or not. Tell me, how will you do that? So, well, we got the time for 0 0.4, what was it? 115, 2.16. hours. We should also convert this to hours and minutes, okay. So, which is equals to 2 hours plus 0 0.16 into 60 minutes. Do you understand? So, that is easy conversion. Let us do it. So, 0 0.16 into 60 will give you minutes, which is almost 9.6 minutes. So, let us say 2 hours and let us say 10 minutes. Correct. So, that is the time which we have got. Now, let us see what are the other times possible. So, let us connect these dots. 0 center A to B we want to go and via C. So, if I go direct from time from A to B direct, right? 
A to B by rowing. Right? So, if you want to row and go, then the distance is 2 plus 2, 4, right? So, it is 4 kilometers divided by the speed of rowing, which is 2 kilometers per hour, right? And that gives you 2 hours. And uh, if you want to calculate the time when you walk all the way, right, from that is the arc A to B, that is walking time, then this length is semicircle, right? So pi r, r being 2 for you, and the speed being 5 kilometers per hour, right? So let's calculate this walking time, 5 kilometers per hour. So it is 2 times 3.14, and we'll divide this by 5. We get decimal value 1.25. Since walking speed is pretty high, so, it is very less time in hours. We are looking for maximum time, correct? So, maximum time indeed is 2 hours and 10 minutes. Correct? And that is when Anil will row at an angle, theta. So, that is to row at an angle of 0 0.4115 radians. You can convert to degrees this radians by multiplying by 180 dividing by pi, right? So, let's do that also. 0 0.4115 times 180 divided by pi, right? And you get 23.57. So, let's say 24 degrees approximately. You get the idea. So, that is how you are going to solve this particular question. So, I hope with this you understand how interesting the questions in calculus can be where you are relating so many parameters and that is the beauty of this question. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.